Hi, I'm Mr. Omiyo. Okay, now I'm going to go through one question regarding specific heat capacity and specific latent heat of vaporization from the 1001 physics MCQ for O level, page 75 and question 32. And this question reads, a 2 kg copper ball at 500 degrees Celsius is thrown into 0.5 kg of water at 60 degrees Celsius. Assuming that no thermal energy is lost to the surrounding, how much water will vaporize to steam? We are given that uh, the specific heat capacity of copper is 400 joules per kg per Kelvin and specific heat capacity of water is 4000 joules per kg per Kelvin and the specific latent heat of vaporization of water is 226000 joules per kg Okay, how do we approach this question? It looks a bit complicated, so the best way for us to visualize what is happening is to draw a diagram. Okay, we have a copper ball at 500 degrees Celsius, 2 kg at 500 degrees Celsius. It's being thrown into a container of water with 0 0.5 kg of water at 60 degrees Celsius. So, um, if you throw in this hot copper ball into this container of water, the temperature of the water will rise and the temperature of the copper ball is going to decrease. Okay, so eventually, what is going to happen will be this. The copper ball will be inside the container of water. And from the question, from the question we understand that they ask us how much water will vaporize to steam. So that means that there will be still some water that is left in the container. So in this case, if there's some water that is still left in the container, the temperature of the remaining water must be at 100 degrees Celsius. And since the copper ball has reached the thermal equilibrium together with the water, the, the temperature of the copper ball will also be 100 degrees Celsius. Okay. So now um, let's try to form an equation energy that is gained by water will be equal to the energy that is lost by the copper ball okay so what is the total energy that is gained by the water it will be the energy that is taken into raise the temperature from 60 degrees Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius plus the energy that is used to boil off some part of the water okay we call this the vaporization energy QV okay and the energy that is lost by the copper ball will be the energy that is lost as the temperature decreases from 500 degrees Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius okay so to find the, the energy that is required for the temperature rise from 60 to 100 degrees Celsius, right, we use the formula Mc theta. Okay, the mass of the water multiplied by the heat capacity, capacity of water multiplied by the temperature change of water. Is it plus the energy required for the vaporization will be uh, mass times the specific latent heat of vaporization, which is this. The mass we don't have, so we represent it with a with, uh, letter N multiplied by LF, sorry, LV is equal to the heat that is lost by the copper ball when the temperature decreases by 400 degrees Celsius. So this will be MC theta as well, the mass of the copper ball multiplied by the Capacity in capacity of copper ball multiplied by the temperature drop of copper. Okay, so now let's uh, let's fill in the numbers. Mass of water is 0 0.5. Specific heat capacity of water is 4000, and the temperature rise from 100 from 60 to 100 will be 40 degrees Celsius. Plus the mass of the unknown water. The unknown mass of the water multiplied by the specific vaporization, specific latent heat of vaporization of water, which is 2260 joules per kg, 3 times. 
is equal to the mass of the copper, which is 2 specific heat capacity of copper, 400 the temperature change from 100 degrees Celsius to 500 degrees Celsius it will be 400 degrees Celsius okay, let's not put in the unit yet okay, let's uh, calculate this this will be 80,000 plus 2260 0000 and is equal to 320000 okay, so let's work this out Three hundred and twenty thousand minus of eighty thousand, I'll get two hundred and forty thousand. And m is equal to two four zero 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 divided by two two six zero 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 zero. I'll get the unknown mass of the water that has vaporized to be zero point one zero six kg.